I just finished uh, constructing a computer in Factorio. Even though it's not the uh, first or the best, I thought I'd give you a tour. Behold. 64 words of read-only memory, 64 words of read-write memory, 16 possible instructions, all smoking along at five and a half instructions per second. Even though this is about a billion times slower than the computer you're probably using, I have high hopes in making it faster. Six and a half or maybe even seven instructions per second are possible. Like most uh, computers, this one has read-only memory here, read-write memory here, program control unit here. This is the bit that uh, generates addresses for instructions and data. Up here we have the arithmetic and logic unit. Performs uh, addition, multiplication, division, subtraction, etc. On current data and on previous results. It also stores the uh, result of the operation, whether the uh, result is zero, positive, or negative. Up here, with the fancy uh, blinking lights, we have the clock. And uh, right below it is the instruction decoder, the part that's responsible for interpreting all the instructions and deciding what happens next. So let's take a close, closer look. This is a read-only memory. As you can see it's very simple. We have a constant combinator here that holds the instruction and operand. Then we have the uh, decider here that's used to address this particular constant combinator. In this case, address is 128. Read-write memory is a bit more complicated, but not much. Consists of three combinators. One, two, three. The first one is used to uh, address the center combinator, which holds the actual data. The one on the right is used to read the data from the center combinator. The actual writing process takes two pulses. First pulse contains a signal red, which will zero out the data here and the second pulse will contain the actual data that's written in. Now, the uh, program and control unit, which is this bit over here, is responsible for generating addresses addresses to the read-only memory or to the read-write memory. It contains two registers. Program counter, which as you can see is cycling right now between 128 and 129. And the uh, data register that will be used in branching logic and in uh, 
read-write logic. So in case of a branch, data register will add the difference between the current address and the desired address to the program counter here case of uh, reading or writing data, like for example from the from this location here, it will seize the address bus from the uh, program counter and present its own version of the uh, address. Up here is the arithmetic logic unit. Take a closer look. Data comes in through here. It's presented to uh, five different arithmetic combinators that I use to perform the arithmetic operations and the actual load of the data. This register. A2 register supplies the other operand. Once the operation completes, it is written into this register, the A register. From there, it's copied back into the A2. The result, or the type of the result, whether it's positive, negative, or greater than zero, is written in here, into the status register. Right now, the status register contains uh, result of zero, which is indicated by the um, crude oil signal. Negative would be heavy oil, and positive would be light oil. Here we have the clock. Clock is a simple counter that counts from 1 to 10 and then repeats. The section down here interprets the instruction. For each instruction, for example, instruction 1, we have a uh, read-only memory cell consisting of a constant combinator that contains a number of different signals. Notice that each signal has a value. That value of that signal is compared with the clock value down here. So, for example, when the value of 1 equals the value of the clock, this combinator will output signal 1. That's how the timing is done. Quite simple, really. Now, input, in this case, is done by this smart chest. Whatever we, whatever we put into this chest will be presented to the computer as an address 256. Now we only have one input, but we could have many in principle. Output, of course, is down here. In this case, we have the uh, five-digit seven-segment display. So, if we look at the uh, what it's doing right now, program counter is cycling through addresses 128 and 129. Why? Well, the address 128 has an instruction to read address 256, which is the input chest here. There's nothing there so the result will be zero. It's 
instruction 129 says, well, if the result is zero, go back to 128 and repeat. So since we have nothing here, uh, it's just cycling and waiting for input. Let's put something inside and see what happens. You can put anything really. Uh oh, okay. Something is happening. Seeing numbers here. The computer is computing. So, what is it computing? Oh, it's computing factorials. I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Goodbye for now.